Hello friends and welcome back to the Atelier. I am here with my Traveler's Notebook. My Hobonichi Weeks is in here. I did some organizing with my stickers, so I'm going to show you all of that. I've got sticky notes here. I finally made them, got them printed, so they're here as well. And then, let's see what else. I'm going to pull a card for us. I also got these on a recommendation from a friend, so I'm going to let you know what I think about those. But I have my Galactic Oracle deck here with me today. This bag was created by my friend Karina, and she, I think her business is the Bad Trip Bruja. Um, you can find her on Etsy. But she sewed those up for me, and they did come with a keychain created by my friend um, Shannon. Her business is the Bay Studio, um, or yeah, I guess it's the Bay Studio at this point. <laughs> but she just reestablished her Etsy, so you can find her on Etsy. Um, and what else? I'll probably link her in the comments um, because she's the one that recommended these here. But she is my Aquarius friend who is very much like me. We do a lot of very similar things and both love planning, stationery, journaling, um, photography, poetry, art, and all the spooky things, all the mystical things, all the things. Anyway, here we've got the Galactic Oracle deck, and I'm going to go ahead and pull a card. This is a deck that I made, when did I release it? I want to say 2020, 2021, um, and these are actually made from physical paintings. I did pour paintings first, and then I went ahead, took pictures, put it into my computer, digitally rendered them, and then I added the text and I drew the little icons on each card. So I'm going to pull from the top. And our card is gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. So maybe think of something that you can be grateful for. I'm always reminding my yoga people to do so um, at the end of our yoga classes and just reminding them to maybe find gratitude for the month, for the week, for the day, something, one thing that they're grateful for. Um, I do have a guidebook with this as well, which you can find on Amazon, and you could honestly use it as Shufflemancy. I made it large for a reason, for that reason. Um, I have a actual physical book as well called Turning Inward. I don't have it in my arm reach, but that's a book that is meant to be similar to Oracle Cards or Oracle Deck, where you flip to a random page. It's Bibblemancy, basically. You flip to a random page, and boom, there's your message. So gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. And then our second card is connect with your divine feminine. And this can be just that um, lunar energy within you, I suppose I could say. That moon sort of energy within you. Um, that doesn't have to necessarily be feminine or effeminate or um, relating to women because feminine, the divine feminine doesn't necessarily have a gender. Um, it's more so of an energy, or that's at least how I interpret it. So allowing yourself to connect with that moon, that lunar energy, seeing where the moon is in your chart, your astrological chart. I'm an astrologer as well, so if you need help with that, you can find astrology readings on my website. I recommend getting a solar return reading um, just to feel out your year, maybe around your birthday. Otherwise, you can do a transit reading, a astrocartography reading to see where it might be best to move, to travel, etc. this year. Um, or just do a natal reading, which will give you a overall general overview and insight into your life. But um, lunar energies can have to do with the intuition, the emotions, um, the cancer zodiac sign, um, or even that maternal motherly energy in your life. So maybe paying attention to your relationship to that maternal energy in your life, your mother, what it feels like to be a mother if you are a mother, how you connect with being a mother, or how you disconnect with that. Um, or have trouble con connecting with that. Um, so all different things to kind of think of. Otherwise, just thinking of that lunar energy. How are you feeling intuitive or how are you not? Do you feel like you need like a intuitive tune-up to feel a little bit more in tune with yourself and your body and what you're flowing through and growing through? Um, paying attention to all those things. And finally, 
awakening, activating, initiating, you are being upgraded. So I feel like that goes with these messages here as well. I think the beginning of that upgrade is gratitude. It's allowing yourself to be grateful for the current moment, for what you're going through, for, for the blah, blah, cannot talk today, <laughs> what you're growing through, um, and just allowing yourself to be along for the process. I was thinking about something um, the other night where I was just thinking about manifestation. And, um, you know, manifestation might be part of how you specifically upgrade your life um, but something that I think it's worthy or something that I think is worthy of consideration is knowing that maybe when you set your intentions um, to manifest a specific thing um, there's a level of specificity <laughs> that may or may not be required so for example um, I was thinking of how I wanted to be able to sustain myself financially completely through my own endeavors, my own efforts, rather than, um, you know, having someone kind of pay me to do a certain job. I'm instead doing things, whether that's freelance for clients um, or otherwise through my services, through my products and just generating enough revenue and income to support and stabilize myself so that I could continue to do what I love, focus on what I love, continue to build what I've always envisioned for myself, um, and be able to do it without having a job on the side or doing something extra. Just because I've always found that to be somewhat of a distraction for me. I think once I get into a certain job, I'm just like, okay, I'm all in. And then I kind of forget about all the things that I'm doing for my own business it becomes the second priority and i wanted me to be my first priority so um in getting there my specifics were that i wanted to be self-sustaining yeah self-sustaining to be able to earn and generate enough revenue and income to sustain myself as well as be able to financially afford everything that i need to um, and have the freedom to have a flexible schedule because I feel like that's important with all the things that I do and just um, I'm a firm believer that a lot of the structure that we have in our lives that we're encouraged to go along with is not how it's not inherently natural to us and I want to have more of a natural working living type schedule and I feel like doing that I have to kind of work for myself to be able to build my schedule in a way that me makes sense for me and what I'm doing in my body, etc. Um, so my specifics were all of those things. And I could have gotten more specific by saying, I want to do that by having this specific job or selling this many items or whatever. Um, all those things are good and I have manifested those things and they have come to be. Um, but I feel like sometimes it's good to leave an open an openness to it so maybe i'm writing down like i would like it to fill fulfill these different things and i would like to have this kind of experience but i'm open to whatever you might bring my way that might make sense for what i want to do in my life things that might make or help me grow um that maybe i might not have thought of to be specific about you know so things kind of encouraging things that are meant for me rather than just like making very clear concise super specific suggestions about what that might look like so be more open to the process i guess i could say um but yeah that is the galactic oracle if you enjoy it if you like how the cards look you can find that on my website so let's go ahead and get into the Traveler's Notebook. As you can see, I have a charm here, and this is actually meant to look like a tooth. Um, so meant to look like a molar tooth. And then the pinkish part is like gums. Very strange, weird, but I want to make more art like that because I just, that's what I love. I love weird, spooky, strange things. Oddities. That's the best way to sum it up. So yes, I've made this. Um, this is on my shop as well. So if you like that, you like weird things, you can find it there. I plan to get some soft pastels so that I can kind of grind them up and fill in some of these areas that have a slight shading to them. I think it will look a lot more natural and just make it come together a lot better. For this, I used really watered down acrylic paint, which worked fine. Um, it gets the point across and it looks 
identifiable but i just think using a little bit of that soft pastel will take it to the next level so yeah you can find that on my website and then i also have added which you'll see in here that i've used these um sticky notes and these i have basically it's pre-order on the website because when i get some orders in that's when i'll be ordering these in bulk so right now these are like the samples that i've done and this one is a little raspberry guy let's see if i can focus on it raspberry guy um that's just laying down chilling and then a bunch of space for you to write within and you can write outside the borders i made it light enough to where you can still see if you're using a pen so that's one thing that i've created And then the next one that I've got here is this cake like design, focusing on it. So this cake, cherry cake design, um, again, there's a design in the bottom corner and then this kind of blob here and it's light enough for you to write on. Um, these are all going to be stacks of 50, 50 sheets. So it'll be about this thick and this size um and yeah nice quality i've been excited about those let's get into it i like to keep micron here i like this best when i'm writing in anything when it comes to a bullet journal or planner or whatever i just really like microns i like them for art i like them for outlining um they don't smear very much if at all you have to catch it when it's dry and then it won't smear um but I got this cover from Moterm, so it's just as nice as the Traveler's Company um, cover. I have to slide this in some more. There we go. Just as nice. I love the kind of worn look that some of these little scratches and things are giving it. It's going to have a nice patina on it over time. Um, I love this part, and I love that it's not just the elastic by itself. I feel like this is extra security for the pen, um, so I really appreciate that. But like I said, there's no stamp here or anything to show that it's a um, Traveler's Company notebook, because it's not. It's from Moterm, um, but just as good, high quality leather, um, nice and thick as well. And I got this as well as, I don't have the things next to me or nearby. But I got this, I got another elastic, I think for this, or the elastic that goes through, I think maybe it's both. But I got extra elastic, they give you three notebooks as well. So one is gridded, one has lines, one is blank, with a pretty sturdy cover. Um, what else do they give you? They give you a charm and a little jump ring and lobster claw clip but I wanted to use my own charm instead. I wanted it to have more of my vibe and this is much more my vibe. They have a lighter brown than this. I like that vintage worn brown look. Um, I love it with anything. <laughs> this is my um, Polaroid photo printer and it has the same similar aesthetic, um, but I love that. Um, they also have black, but this is, this feels me. This is my go-to here, but we'll take a look inside. So I've got my Hobonichi Weeks front and center. I felt like it worked best front and center rather than it being in the back. Um, it felt kind of unevenly chunky that way for whatever reason, um, possibly because it is shorter than a traveler's notebook size and um, not as wide. But I've got a clear cover on here and it works perfectly. It's nice and thin, so I, it can be nice and covered. I'm not getting anything on my actual cover. I can still enjoy the color. And then also um, it's not bulking up my traveler's notebook, which was a concern with me or for me. So here's what I've got so far. And I'm gonna look and see what I might have to cover up with a, a sticky note. But, um, <laughs> I'm gonna show you, let's see. Cause I, did I start this in November? I don't think I really put much, no, I don't think I did. Cause I got this into December. So this is what my December ended up looking like. Um, I like doing a little workout progress photo um, every now and then. So yay, appreciating my process and my progress. And I started with this because I was thinking that I wanted to do a 
spread situation um, every month where I do a picture from that day, um, you know, each month and fill it up like this. I saw someone else do that. They had a Canon Ivy, I think, though, and with those, you can do a little collage style where you do, I think, maybe four or six or something like that. Um, I try to separate it my own and put it into the Polaroid app because they don't have like a collage option. But I don't know, they kind of just, I didn't feel like measuring it out and being super specific and mathematic. So not everything is completely perfect, but I do like it for what it is. I took out one and you'll see it later. I put it on something else and I might move these around and put them elsewhere. Um, but I like to put a little manifestation list here because you have four little bullet points um, and then I just did a wreath December made it super simple and then this is January I figured that this month I saw someone mention that they like to put their favorite songs of the month here um, there's actually one that I want to add um, I have to look it up though I think it's by moon harvest harvest moon something like that maybe not but something <laughs> Wait, Moon King? I think it's by Moon King. Um, but I forget what the song is called, so I, I'm going to write that there. But I have my schedule here, all my meetings, places I have to be. Um, I actually have to cross out some days, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Um, boop, boop, boop. And, yeah. So... As I get different things that I have to do, I'll put them in here. I do some grant writing, so I might have to put some due dates in here just so I can kind of see it all at once. Um, but yeah, I decided to do this kind of spread here for January. Um, and then these are my things that I'm manifesting. And I put this here, but I already have a, like this little bookmark. And then I also use this Monstera clip. So I really didn't need to do these index things, but I was just doing things with them. I really got them to like highlight different things. So rather than it be like that, it would sit on top of something like this and highlight it. Um, I love the dark colors, but it's kind of hard to see with some of the things. Um, but also I thought the sticky would go all the way to the end, but it doesn't. So if I do that, I'll have to cut it halfway and I can still get use out of it that way, but for now, that's just where that is. And then I have these little washi um, art history related type stickers, classic art, art type stickers. So I did one of those there. Um, I'm gonna just take this out, it's not working out. And then this is my February spread. Um, my birthday is on the 12th, so I had to put that in there. And I put a sticky note to remind myself to rest because it's been busy. As soon as the year started, it. I swear like took off running so I'm gonna take some time to rest and this is one of my manifestations for February I might have more as January goes on but that's the first one that I could think of and I would love to visit a museum there's one specifically nearby that's pretty well renowned um, that I want to go and take a look at so um, I'm hoping to get up there whether that's with friends I might suggest it as a birthday thing um, or maybe I'll like ask my mom to go with me I don't know <laughs> or I could go by myself but it's just fun when you have a human around so um, let's see this is where I kind of picked up with this one so I first had a faux memo um, what do you call it printer but I didn't really like it you can see the quality isn't as amazing as it could be um, and you're printing on what is it called thermal printer paper so with these the thing you have to consider is that these aren't going to last a very long time and it depends on what kind of paper you, paper you get some can last two years some like five years some like 10 years some like 20 years and that's like where it caps off and I wanted something that was more, what's the word? Something that I could just keep memories with. Um, something archival is the word I'm looking for. And so I decided to switch to my Polaroid printer, which you can see here. Polaroid printer, really good. It's one of the best that I saw. A lot of the reviews were saying that that one was one of the best printers. 
And I like to do a little card each week. So you can see my cards here that I've pulled. And then this is when I got the printer and you can tell the quality is just so much better. My eye look makeup was looking fire and so were my eyes. I love it, so cute. Um, the Empress was the card and I just love taking these like moody pictures of my shoes. I don't know why, don't ask me, but I did that. And then these are Holly, but they're like bloody. I was thinking of Silent Night, Deadly Night, so. Um, and then here's the next week here. Cute, interesting, cool, whatever. My uh, cousin gave me these stickers, so that's where those came from. And let's see what else. It was pretty busy Christmas. And then these are, <laughs> like, my days have been full, and there are things that I have had to push, 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 because I'm kind of overestimating the amount of work that I can get done and the amount of time that I can get it done in. And so I'm being really ambitious with some of the deadlines I'm giving myself and I'm just like, oh girl, we need to slow down for one, but also we need to pick up the pace in some things, but I'm doing the best that I can. So this is like my running to-do list because I had one here and I was like, I need more space with how I had the stickers. I just, you know, kind of underestimated how much space I would need so I made this little kind of flap forget what it's called um that's not a shopping list it's part of the list so yeah and then my manifestations for the year I just put that on this little cute bear sticky note which this kept folding up and I'm super impressed by these marker glue things because using double state double-sided tape like this just does not work it works well enough but it's I don't know there's hair on it or fuzz or something but I don't know it runs out pretty quick as well depending on what you're using it for um, sometimes it can just be hard to press it properly and it doesn't always come off as I might want it to so I've been loving these um, which my friend Shan from the base studio recommended them um, and I got a three pack. You can find them at Michael's. They're under the Recollections brand, but the actual brand is, I forget how I pronounced it, Kuritake or something like that. Um, I looked up the pronunciation, but I forget already. Made in Japan. Japan is like OG for stationary supplies. Um, but yeah, they have them at Michael's, sold under the Recollections brand, but it has all the same packaging. It's kind of confusing, but you can get them on Amazon um, for cheaper. And I got three packs, so this is the chisel tip here. This one I haven't used yet, so it's going to be white, but this one has a rounded tip, medium. And then this one is a squeezable, and it's more of a pen type tip, which is really nice for any fine area so I took this one actually and went around the very edge and made sure I brought it all the way to the edge and as you can see like it's not coming up I'm putting my nail over it and it is not budging it feels like it's part of the paper now so nice so yeah this was a sticky note and then I added some of that very good stuff if you're looking for a good adhesive um, but here's more planning stuff and then this is a piece of artwork that I did. Hopefully YouTube isn't mad at that. And then here's me trying out one of my sticky notes. This will be for a coming week running to-do list. And let's see, this is my birthday week. So I put this cupcake here, which I have stickers coming soon to the shop. And let's see what I will show you here. So this is my book spread. I knew I wouldn't finish Monstralio. I was being really um, ambitious and I had some time, but I was like, I wanna play games, I wanna watch movies, I wanna do some other things. So I didn't finish Monstralio like I was hoping to do in December. So it's gonna be my first book of the year. Um, and then I got Ring Shout, which I think it might be next. And then I might do Intercepts. Um, and then I still have these two that I wanna read, but I just like, <sighs> I don't know you know how it feels when you want to read a book and you got it but then you find out about another book and you're like oh I gotta read this first that's what's been happening so eventually I'll get there and let's see what else I've got in here 
So this is like running to-do list, my business that I have of a friend, and then YouTube video ideas. Um, I have like a bills page, which I'm not going to show. And then what else do I have? And then some Christmas, like a Christmas spread. Um, I printed some pictures and just wanted to put some in here um, to remember what I did this Christmas, which I have a few more that I should probably add to this, um, which I could fill in the space down here with. But um, these are animes that I'm watching. I just finished the first season of Apothecary Diaries and I really loved it, so five stars. Um, and then Attack on Titan, I just started, so far it's five stars. I know it's going to be five stars, but I'm going to wait until I finish to put in the stars, but I already know. If you know, you know, and I already know. And this is one of my favorite shops um, that is a little ways from me, not too far, Cleveland Curiosities. Um, this is from one of the bags that I got some items in, which, ooh, I will show you one of the items that I got, but, um, or maybe I could show you two of the items I got at least, maybe three of them actually, but yeah, they have oddities. Um, that's where these pictures were taken, actually, I'm trying to move my book back. So this is a real shrunken head. This is a, what is it? Oh, it's a pig in a jar, but I think it's upside down. I put it in there upside down, um, but yeah. And then this, I want to say it's probably a model, but it might be mummified, I'm not sure. Um, and then this, I forget what it's called, some sort of religious kit of sorts, but yeah, they have a bunch of cool oddities. I love shops like that. I live for them. I want to own one. Such a vibe. And then I figured I would put some like magical things that I do in here as well. So here is the magic of the 13 wishes. Magic of 13 wishes. So what you do is basically this starts on, I started it on Yule. Um, some people decide to start it on Christmas. I guess it's just kind of up to your preference. Um, you can screenshot this if you're interested in trying it out, but basically um, it's like 13 nights, 13 wishes. Um, you write all these wishes on pieces of paper that are really thin and small that you can just burn really quickly. I do it small. I keep it concise, just one sentence, maybe two. Um, and I keep it small just for when you burn it and stuff. It just makes it easy. Um, so you write down your 13 wishes, you cut them all up into little strips and you fold them up almost like you're like putting a um, ticket into a basket to win a raffle or something with your name and phone number and all of that good stuff on it. So you do that, you fold it up, then each night for 13 nights you will pick a paper out of that um, jar or basket or whatever starting on the 21st or the 24th 25th depending on what you want to do um, and then after you do that you will burn it light a candle then you'll burn it and then you pull a card from your tarot or, or oracle deck so you know one of these and then you write down your card so that first card that you pull that first night mine was for January I got the page of cups oh my gosh that is insane <laughs> I was not even planning on oh my gosh okay anyways so yeah I got the page of cups and I wrote down unleash my creativity go after what I want and I'm passionate about new 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 beginnings new friends new love new connections um, and then I pulled a card from a different deck and it was fear. So face my fears while honoring them and call in alignment. A lot of my year is going to be about newness, calling in new things, facing fears. That seems to be the overall theme that came through all of these cards, which is really, really interesting. And then I did, um, so for the 13th day, the very last day, that one that you pull is one that you have to make sure comes true. So the one that I pulled was, I have no need for another job. My business is more than enough and I can sustain myself. So that's one. And then I accidentally wrote out 14. So my bonus one was, um, I am healthy, gaining muscle, improving cardio, cardiovascular health, etc. I've been working out three days a week consistently for honestly for a couple of years but um getting really back into my consistency the last few months so 
or the last half of 2023. Then I've got my vision board in here. Um, these are different things that I've printed from Pinterest. Maybe some were found from Tumblr, um, but that's what these are. I use Pantones as my inspiration. So you can see here that I did, I think this is like the double-sided tape right here, so don't mind that. Um, but I did Pantone and then 20, the age I will be this year, 2024, that's like the number code or whatever for the color, so to speak. And then Vision Board is like the name of the color. So all of these, I didn't, some of the numbers are super random, but like the name of these is like what I'm manifesting. And then, you know, Pantone, 24 is the year, etc. So yeah, that is that. And then I've got some written work in here. I put types of anime. This is kind of like a common place for me. Um, I write things that I am figuring out, write down notes, write down things like this, thoughts, whatever. Um, like my card of the year is here. And then um, some more notes over here. Um, just working out some figures and then some, oh, this is a quote that I came up with. Um, Jesus stood on water while I stand on business. And you can find that on a sticker or a shirt on my website. So go ahead, check it out. <laughs> but that's all I've got so far. I did, I haven't done anything with the favorites page yet. I'm kind of saving that since I only have limited space, some more things I'm manifesting on my 100. That's what I'm going to use that for, like a running manifestation list. Um, and then I did the interview with myself. Um, I still want to try these recipes. And then I did work out. Um, I forget what day this is. It is the fifth day of January. So I'm going to color that bubble in here soon. Actually, I have a highlighter, so I'll color it in right now. So there we go, Ooh. the fifth day I have worked out and I will work out tomorrow. So that will be colored in too. So aside from all of that, I took a while, but I felt like I needed to explain some things. This comes with the Moterm cover. So you get this little folder and you get this folder as well, which I love so nice. And I got this specifically to keep my stickers in. But I figured I really wanted a sticker book so I can flip through, see what I've got. So these, I put sticky notes, my long sticky notes into um, for my planner. And I love that I got this like this because I got these because I knew winter was here. But, you know, winter won't be here forever. So this is kind of like summery, springy. And this one has more of a fall um, leading into winter vibe. But I have my index stickers here, and then I'll probably put these in the other side. There's the other side to this plastic thing, but I have this folder in between. So you can see that um, this picture is from the calendar that I showed you before with all of the different pictures. I put it here. This is like my mascot for standing on business. <laughs> So I put it here and I did this kind of collage ripped paper vibe. That's my favorite when it comes to anything. Bullet journal, scrapbooky, like this antiqued paper, old stamps, um, art history, vibes, um, you know, old frames. This kind of, I don't know what to call it. It's like classic, um, what is it? Like Renaissance era uh rococo vibes is just what i'm going for so that's what i've got there and i really want to go in with my little pen here and really seal down some of these edges because they're not perfect but they're they're close they're close so there's my monstera paper clip and then i just added these little things here i have a coupon so i'm going to use that and then this is the other side of the folder. I have the other half of the stamps happening over here. Um, more washi tape stickers, that sort of thing. And then this is the other side of the plastic. So I've got different sticky notes in here. This is a macaron, macaroon, macaron. This one is a little bear in this latte, which these came in a set with the other ones. The other sticky notes, another latte. This one is more like a putting something 
this one and this one like a little ice skating situation super cute keeps them nice and in one space and I feel like these are sufficient I really want to put one of these in here as well which I can plenty of space you put stickers in there if you wanted to but I chose to put my stickers over here so you can see this is my um, sticker book this one is actually from Traveler's Company so there's their logo right there I got this on Amazon this was from a pack of old papers like this paper this note um, music sheet paper that's what it is <laughs> and some of this paper here is showing through all this is from the same pack actually so um, I really love it again art history vibes but that's how I decorated the front this is how I've decorated the back and then I've got this pen clip here which also comes along with and so there's that opening page and here are the stickers that I've gotten here I went through for a couple hours one night peeled everything off put them all in here and they stick really nicely I noticed that after I stuck them down they kind of started to peel up because this is sticker release paper so you know obviously it's not going to cling super hard to it because it can peel off but um after having it in this notebook or in the traveler's notebook for a few days and having it kind of compressed everything's nice and flat so here's more this is all from that same pack that i was talking about with this which i got from aliexpress pretty sure and then getting into my spooky stickers these are frame stickers they're clear so it's going to be hard to see them getting into my spooky stickers this is one of my favorites right here And then getting into some of my hedgehog stickers, more clear stickers. But you can see with my hedgehog stickers especially, it's kind of peeling up slightly. It doesn't bother me. I'm just extra careful. And that's why it's a good idea that it's in the back. More stickers here, some witchy stickers. And then moon celestial stickers. More celestial stickers. And then some fall and I'm getting some coffee monster stickers as well so those will go in the back so yeah that is my updated plan with me planner situation I didn't really do a plan with me because I didn't really do any planning I've been doing it all week but at least they updated look at my planner situation what I've got going on um, what my flow is looking like and I'm just really happy about it. I think it's so perfect. This is the perfect size. The Hobonichi is the perfect size. If I need more space, I can always use one of the pages in the back. I thought about adding another notebook in the back here. One of the free ones that Moterm gives you. Um, so that's an option if I feel like I need more space to write down my daily things. But otherwise, I feel like I love the idea of just using sticky notes to do my running to-do list. If I need more space for anything that I have to do for that day, I'll just whip out a sticky note, put it on the page. I don't mind that. I would rather have more space and condense things down and have this situation than have something larger, more bulky that I'm carrying around with me every day because I have a bag that's big enough for all this. So it all just perfectly works. And I love that I can slide this into the folder when I'm not using it just by sliding it down in there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a longer little video, but I enjoy a long video where people are showing me what they've got going on. It gives me some good ideas. If you want some more creepy, weird, spooky art, you can visit my website and grab this little ring dish. I also have some that have a knife that's going straight up so you can put the rings straight on the knife. This one's a little different. But yeah, you can find this there. You can find my oracle cards there as well. But I will see you all next time.